Dude. <sighs> Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. Tonight, today, and this Monday, that you're watching this video, or Tuesday, whenever you're watching yeah. it, we're gonna review a nice uh, Woodford Double O, uh, Vintage 20, 20, or 19, depends. And uh, it's $55.99. Okay. Intro. Alright. Uh, so do it. The mm, bottle. That's a good one. One of mm. uh, one of both of our origin whiskeys. Yeah. I this came is, up with that. This on is the, the one that like got us to I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't bad. What? That pour. It wasn't a long pour. I, oh was it? I from my it was angle like I here. thought you yeah. alright. And mm. I'm getting better at this. Better's one more. More whiskey than I wanted? Nailed it. With like the third or the fourth glug is when you realize that. More than I wanted? Yeah. The problem is I like, need glug, I need two glug, glugs to measure glug, where the whiskey's going. Just two. I uh, need two glugs to correct and just, I need two glugs. It just glugs. went to black and white and I guarantee there's four that are in. <laughs> All right. Look at uh, how dark that whiskey yeah, is. Yeah, this is a whiskey that was uh, like origin, as Dan would say. I'd call it like Our a gateway. Origin. Yeah, a gateway drug. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dare. So, uh, so, my lord. When Woodford Double Oak was in the old bottle, the ugly one with the yeah. copper uh, label on it, it's not actually copper, the color copper. Well, There's whiskey everywhere. So, I don't know where we're at, dude. So, Woodford Double Oak, yeah, we've talked about how this is our origin whiskey like 18 times now. Mm -hmm. But basically, we, um, it was like a $60 bottle at the time, right? Yeah. And I remember, like, that was when we were lot. like, $60 for a bottle of whiskey. Are we never going to drink it? And so, but one of us bought a bottle of Woodford Double Oak, and it was one of the first whiskeys because mm. it's got that rich sweetness. Yeah. I remember us being like, that is breakfast and what, like syrup. Yeah, and, it's still syrup and waffles. Oh. Caramel. Like uh, just a nice scoop of vanilla. Butter. Lots oh, of butter so in there. Butter. So much butter, dude. Somehow we're getting like uh, some waffles with some ice cream. Make that happen because of vanilla. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is different than normal Woodford Reserve because this is finished in a second barrel. It has been, I believe, just charred. Oh, um, this is. I don't really like. I don't love this squat bottle situation, but it tastes new, heavily toasted, lightly charred barrels. So yeah. Needless to say, it's basically finished whiskey. Yeah. People don't look at it. It's weird because people don't like like Angels is finished. Yeah. It bothers people that it's called bourbon. Nobody complains about this bottle, and it's also finished in other barrels. Yeah. That are different than their original barrels. I get they're still bourbon barrels, and they're not wine barrels. But it's an interesting thing that people it, care it about. It says that. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in a second. Yeah. Barrel. Yeah, this is a great bottle. This was, we haven't had one of these bottles since the old bottles, the no. old labels. Yeah. I've never owned, except for the store, store pick, pick, I've never owned one of the new shaped bottles of Double O. I don't know why. It, it Yeah, we smells, always pass it up. Yeah. Smells and tastes so good. Dude, it's, it's delicious. so buttery. It's, it's literally like boozy maple syrup. Fantastic. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh, man. It's got like a little crispy toast on it. Like a, almost burnt toast on the front of the palate. Mm -hmm. It almost has a coffee bean on the back with some chocolate. I was gonna say like the chocolate covered espresso yeah, exactly. bean. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not real bitter, but there's no. like a nice, there's like a serious aspect to something. You're drinking it and your body goes, wake not, up. Yeah, it's not quite like barrel char, but yeah, it's mm. definitely like chocolate co covered espresso it's bean. It's very man. good. It's fantastic. It's drowned out in syrup. What is it, 50, 60 bucks? 55 $56. $56. That's a really good 56 dollars Jemima or Butter's Buttersworth? Buttersworth. It's, it's the Buttersworth, but the butter flavored one. Yeah. You know how they do butter oh, flavored yeah. Buttersworth? You double butter is what I call Double it. butter. Now, this at Barrel Proof was fantastic. Yeah. We got to taste it at Barrel Proof um, when doing a store pick of it because that's how they send it up to the store. Don't know why. It was so damn good. Yeah. It was so good. Just a little tear was rolling down my eye just thinking of how good how all good of those samples, all, the, all the Woodford uh, samples were at Barrel Proof. Um, here's oh. the, the thing about this whiskey though is made by Brown Foreman. Brown we Foreman hate that. owns Woodford Reserve. We like a lot of Brown Foreman products. If you've been, all of them. been to this channel before, you know that. Yeah. So, one of my favorite Brown Foreman products of all time is Old Forster 1910, which is also 
Rebarreled. Oh. Rebarreled. Man, that seems. Mm. Not you know what like, I think? I just, I just let go and just trusted it, dude. Pure faith. So here's the thing. Yep. Matt, What's the thing? Porter. Everybody's like, he's so much better at long pouring than Dan. Everybody says this to me. Oh, that's happening. Everybody says it. Just His trick is hold the glass and hold the bottle. Stand back over here. And he pours about this far away. Not even hard, dude. Look at how easy that was. How did you still spill that much? Okay, he spills on his pants, just nobody can see his pants. Okay. Because he sits down and he zooms in on his face. The tricky trickster, dude. So, oh, ooh, which one's better? Ooh. Oh, that's, I got one of those. Okay. I'll just grab the fucking bottle. So, I'm getting a lot of bottle. Oh. This is legitimately, oh man, that's one of my favorite in the whole row of the Old Forester series. These are basically brothers. Mm -hmm. Same uh, parent company. I don't know if they're the same Mashville or not. I, mean, I don't think either are necessarily dis disclosed. Finished in similar manners. They burn the absolute shit out of these barrels. Until they almost don't hold um, anything. Any liquid. Any liquid yeah. yeah. Um, they don't, these are, so this Lately is the difference. Coated. Yeah, the, this is an experiment realistically at this point between what it is like when you double barrel a lightly toasted charred barrel. It makes sense. Or like, like you get all the, the caramel, yes. like deliciousness out of the nice light and toasty. Yeah. That. That's got some char to her. And it, it's got it can, a little... It can, like, this is like coffee that's... There's no confusing it. That's barrel char. Man, I can't even catch any that. Barrel char. We got there. Okay. Okay. Um, This is only three proof higher, but is drastically more complex and interesting to me. I think so. 1910. There's way more going on on the palate. There's a bunch of different flavors. This double oak is delicious and sweet and lovely. I mean, hell, you could drink it for breakfast type thing. The 1910 is like a, even a great night. It's, dude, it's a night, 93 proof. It's a nightcap. As a 93 proofer to have that experience, hmm. I think people are under. I think that's an undersold bottle, an undervalued bottle. I think that there, there's more to this experience at 93 proof than there is on I most 90 proof. I think there's just more going on on yeah. this one. It, they're both fantastic. Look. Like overall, the the mouth experience, it's a little bit more put together. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. The thing about Old Forest from 1910, man, is it's one of the greats. People don't believe me. Some people disagree with me. I love Old Forest 1910. I, that's my third one. Wow, two empties. Um, that. Going back and forth makes the the sweetness on this one, this finish just pop. Yeah, this has cherries and vanilla with that nice barrel char. That barrel char is welcomed in that whiskey to me. I actually think the, so they, they're kind of like flip-flopped a little bit. This one's way sweeter in the finish. Yeah. This one's so much sweeter up front. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, yeah, you get so much more fruit and stuff up in the front of this, sure. where this one's just like, you're drinking syrup. The thing about this though, and I think we've probably said it a thousand times, but the, the mm -hmm. fact that this is so, this is just so much more boring. This is so much more simple and at least less complex yeah. than this. Okay. There's just added shit in here that's fantastic. It's great. Tis amazing. You think I can sing all three of these? No. In one video. I would hope not. One Glen to rule them all. We need these Glens. We don't. We got more. We don't. I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like that third one was a good choice. I feel <laughs> I, like I made a mistake. We're the bourbon junkies. We didn't even give a grade. What's the grade, dude? Yeah. B. You're just trying to. Fifty-five. These are the same price, even. Yeah. They're both fifty-five bucks. Uh, I gave an A quadruple plus to that. I'm gonna give this B one B plus. Oh, see, I'm going low. Fifty-five today, apparently. bucks. I know, but they're the, like the exact same thing. They're the same price range. Same price. Uh, we called this one more complex. Okay, I'm going B. But I think you should Coming if down. you've never had a bottle. You gotta try own it. one. You gotta try. Store it. picks of that can be fantastic too. Amazing. Uh, I'll go B. I came down from a plus to a B. Okay. We won't beat your B minus. I'm sticking B minus. All right, Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan, he's Sean. Like, like comment, subscribe. subscribe. Check out our Patreon. Our Links for all that. Facebook group. The comments below. Instagram. All that kind of stuff. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Love you guys. Proof is in the power. Brown Foreman. Proof's in Brown <laughs> Foreman's whiskey, dude. Hey.